find the derivative of h of x equals in parentheses 3x minus 2x squared times 5 plus 4x over h of x times 3x minus 2x squared times 5 plus 4x. And there's two ways to find the derivative of this given um, multiplication problem. You can go ahead, FOIL, find the trinomial that it's equal to, and then find the derivative of that trinomial, or option two, which is use the product rule. And what I'm going to do is option two, product rule. I'm going to show you how to do that. When you have to find a derivative of h of x, you're going to be given two functions, which is the first function will be f of x, so almost it'll be the derivative, right, with respect to x of f of x times g of x, where you you have multiplication of two functions, f of x and g of x, and you're going to be um, multiplying f of x times the derivative of the second function plus the uh, the second function times the derivative of the first function. So just go ahead and figure out which one's f of x. I'll let f of x for the first x, 3x minus 2x squared. I'll let g of x for the second function, which is 5 plus 4x. So f prime of x is equal to 3, right? That's the derivative of 3x to 3. Derivative of 2x squared will be 4x, right? So then um, g prime of x is going to equal um, 0 plus 4, right? And so f prime of x is 3 minus 4x and g prime of x is 4. So go ahead and multiply. So h prime of x is equal to f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. Now we have all, all the things we need right above us, right? So go use the things in blue to help us right now. So f of x, right? is 3x minus 2x squared times g prime of x, right, and that's 4, right, plus g of x, which is 5 plus 4x, right, times um, f prime of x, which is 3 minus 4x, right, in parentheses, and just go ahead and And just go ahead and notice, take take note of all the ones that we substituted for. Okay. And you just go ahead and multiply back, right? So it's going to be h prime of x equals 4 times 3x minus 2x squared plus, and another foil column, 4 plus, 5 plus 4x times 3 minus 4x. Alright, now I recopied this so that way the 4 is in front. So that way we will remember to use distributive property right here. And the reason why we have to remember to use distributive property is because we have to multiply both the first term and our second term in the parentheses with the coefficient in the bottom. So go ahead and multiply the 4 times 3 and the 4 times negative 2x squared. So it will be equal to 4 times 3x minus 4 times 2x. Plus, and over here we have to use FOIL first, 5 times 3, plus outer, 5 times negative 4x, plus inner, which is 4x times 3, plus outer, which is 4x times negative 4x. So each prime of x is equal to 4 times 3x is 12x. Negative 4 times 2x squared is negative 8x squared plus 15. 5 times 3 is 15 plus 5 times negative 4x is negative 20x. Plus 4x times 3 is 12x. Plus 4 times negative 4x. 4x times negative 4x is negative 16x squared. And then h prime of x, go ahead and combine the terms. 12x minus 8x squared plus 15. And the, the like terms are negative 20x 
and uh, positive 12x, that's going to be negative different signs subtract, so negative 8x minus 16x squared, because when you add negative, you're subtracting. So go ahead and combine more like terms by taking out the parentheses. Okay, now go ahead and regroup so that we have like terms with like terms. So I'm going to go ahead and put 12x with negative 8x. I'm going to put negative 8x squared and negative 16x squared together. So it's going to be negative 8x squared minus 16x squared plus 12x minus 8x plus 15. So each prime of x equals negative 8 and negative 16 is negative 24x squared. Positive 12x and negative 8x is going to be positive 4x plus 15. Now, notice that when you're using the product rule, you need to, number one, figure out which is your first function, which is your second function, f of x and g of x. And after that, set, find their derivatives and then plug it into the formula, right? Where you're given f of x times g prime of x plus g of x times f prime of x. Or you could have had that first option where you just and then find the root of each individual term. Look up to you.